I'm gonna put a wig cap on because we're gonna put a giant yellow hat on later. And to get all the hair out of my face so that we could paint on it. I'm just making sure my face is clean with some micellar water. This is some Bioderma. If you don't have this, you could definitely use Witch Hazel. And it's like the same thing as this, but cheaper. Then I'm getting this Pinocchio type nose. I stuffed mine with cotton on the inside. And then to adhere this appliance to my face, I'm using some Prose. I'm using a Q-tip to put that on my nose, and then I'm gonna put some on the appliance. This isn't my favorite type of appliance. First of all, it's way too big for my face. And it's not made out of foam or silicone. It's like a weird, cheap Halloween latex face appliance, which isn't my favorite. I think it's from like a regular Halloween type store. I got it online. I thought it would be a totally different thing, and it's way too big. Not my favorite, but we're gonna try to make it work. Trying to get these edges to go down smoothly is like mission impossible. So I'm going to be stippling down a lot of liquid latex with a red stipple sponge to try to get these seams to go down as smoothly and transition into my skin as best as I can, which is so hard. It was a lot of layers and a lot of drying time. So while that dries, I'm going to try to smooth down my eyebrows with some Elmer's glue. You know how it is. I do one or two or maybe even three layers of Elmer's glue with powder in between. Now it is time to put some foundation on. Yes, Pinocchio has some foundation. I'm trying to blend it nicely into this nose, the same color. So I'm getting my absolute favorite foundation. Always is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 and doing that all over my face. Down my neck but not on my chest because we're going to do a body painting on the chest later. And then I'm going to conceal those under eyes with some NARS Creamy Concealer. You just want a orange tone concealer that will cover the under eye circles and I'm going to do it on the edges of where my face meets the appliance so that it blends nicely into the foundation and the appliance is almost the same exact color as my skin tone. Also I'm making sure that there's no concealer around my eyebrows or eye area. Then you want to make sure you powder down your face. And now I'm going to get a white eyeliner pencil and start sketching out the area that I'm going to draw his big animated eyes. Over my actual eyelids, because we're going to have our eyes closed this time, because we're going to do these really creepy eyes, that it's going to make him slightly scary, but look more like the original animation. It's always really hard to draw and paint exact symmetrical eyes with one eye open and doing your makeup on it, and then the other eye. I guess we do that when we do eyeshadow, though, but this is, like, a lot more harder, because they have to be perfectly symmetrical and perfect shapes. And now it's time to do the wood grains of Pinocchio's face. This is like my most fun thing to do for this makeup look. You can look up some wood grain pictures on Google or pictures of wooden dolls like I did to look up the grains because we're going to get that alcohol paint in brown. If you don't have alcohol paints, you can always use brown eyeliner because alcohol paints kind of sting your face a little bit. And we're going to get a very thin brush and do weird, very natural looking wood grains. Just very tiny lines. You could do some swirls, some straight lines, some uneven lines, some wiggly lines, whatever you want to do to make it look like wood. I'm even going to do this on my ears as well. You want to make sure you don't do the wood grain inside of those white circles that we drew that are going to be our eyes later. The reason why I'm using alcohol paints because personally for me, I think it looks more natural. But again, you could always use some brown eyeliner pencils as well. And you want to do that down to your neck, but not all the way down your chest, like where a collar of a shirt would meet your neck. And with an orange stipple sponge, we're going to get the alcohol paint in brown and do some contouring on the face to make his face look like it has dimension. You don't really want to give... Pinocchio a Kim K contour look, but you really want to have his face stand out in certain parts so that you could definitely see that this doll has features and it's not just a piece of wood. And I'm contouring the collar neck of my wooden Pinocchio neck too, where his neck would meet the collar. Contouring under my chin and remember to contour your nose with that alcohol paint as well or whatever cream paint you're using. And then we're going to get the red tone alcohol paint. You can get some cream blush for this instead and do the rosiness of the cheeks with an orange stipple sponge. I'm also going to get that brown alcohol paint with a stipple sponge and start doing the actual piece of the mouth part. And I'm going to also get a black eyeliner pencil and do the black marks on the inside of those pieces of the mouth so it looks like his jaw could drop at any moment to open up and say hi to you in a very creepy way because dolls are very creepy and this video making it's making me realize how much creepier dolls are. You also want to get that alcohol paint to contour areas on his face 
Now I'm just getting a black eyeliner pencil and coloring in his very thin, surprised eyebrows over those white circles that we're gonna use as the eyes for later. Getting NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, this is one of my favorite products for transformations. Using that to color in the whiteness of his eyes over my eyebrows. You want to leave some room blank, we're gonna color in the teal parts of the iris of his eyes later. Getting that teal color that we were talking about in the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, but you can use any other Benai palettes or cream palettes or even teal or blue lipstick to color in the iris of his eyes. And then I'm getting a thin black paint or eyeliner pencil to outline the eyes. This is really going to make his eyes look more cartoon and animated and even more creepier. My biggest suggestion is taking pictures with your phone of the whole entire makeup look in between doing these eyes to make sure they're symmetrical and they look creepy and animated enough. And then get a liquid black eyeliner. Get any eyeliner to color in the actual little beady black creepy pupils of his eyes. Now it's time to do the body painting. I'm going to get some teal blue body paint and color in this giant blue bow that Pinocchio has. Now it is time to get some white aqua paint and color the rest of his neck and shoulders where his outfit meets the collar of his neck that we painted near the wood parts before. You want to get a precise paintbrush to get around this bow and then a larger paintbrush to do the bigger areas of the shoulders. Make sure you try not to get it streaky. Just use a large paintbrush and don't get it too watery or wet or too thick so it won't glide on nicely. My favorite brand of aqua paints is Wolf Brothers, but you could also use Bid as well. Then I'm getting some black aqua paint and outlining that cute, adorable blue bow that we painted on and the collar of his whole outfit. Now it's time to put on this adorable Pinocchio hat that I made off of products that I did find off of Amazon. I mean, I feel like all of my makeup costumes come off of Amazon because I'm a hermit that lives in a cave. But now we are completely done with this makeup transformation now that you have that cute, adorable hat on of Pinocchio. I hope you guys liked this wooden detail of his face. It took a long time to do this whole makeup look, but we're gonna even go further and do a creepier twist. If you get very scared of rotted, crusty wooden dolls, maybe you shouldn't watch the rest of this or like holes in things. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't watch the rest of this video, but we're gonna do Pinocchio being eaten by termites now. Starting off doing that with some brown aqua paint or you get some brown cream paint because aqua paint might make the rest of the makeup runny, but I just went with it in a very thin, detailed paintbrush to do like slash marks. You almost want Pinocchio to look like he was attacked by an animal, but it's gonna be like breakage in the wood where it's gonna be holes exposed of termites eating his face off. Sounds great and disgusting, I love it. You're also gonna get some black aqua paint and do the whole marks of the dark parts of the slash marks that we did. It's really great to do like under the eye, exposed, and like on the sides of his cheeks to make it look like he was up in the attic really rotting or outdoors. Yes, outdoors, that's where termites usually live. Like Pinocchio was dumped on the forest floor and termites got a hold of him. Now we're gonna get a little bit of white cream paint. I put a little bit of yellow in my white cream paint to do the bodies of the termites. You want them to look like grains of rice, but a little bit fatter bottoms, like they got a little booty. And then I'm gonna get some brown and yellow cream paint mixed together to do the little pinheads of the termites. Again, these look like wriggly grains of maggot rice, but they're actually termites. I did research and look up pictures of termites eating up wood. It was very disgusting and great at the same time. And now that you have gross, creepy termites crawling through Pinocchio's open, holy face, we are totally done with this makeup transformation of Pinocchio being eaten by disgusting termites. This is one of my absolute favorite makeups to do because it was so fun and you didn't need to be super detailed. You could be rough with it with all the wood textures and the grains of the little termites eating his face. Posing as Pinocchio being freaked out being eaten by termites is just...